I want to show you guys this video. Now, this video is actually older, but it resurfaced because of the woke dialogue that is going on right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, you have Elon Musk, you have the right that is, that is uh, pushing uh, that wokeism is a threat to our society. And I was just on Convo Couch and uh, we, me and Fiorella, we, we was having a conversation why we think this shit is ridiculous, right? Um, and another reason why it's ridiculous because it, 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 you you guys are pretending that the Democratic Party is a woke party even though they are ran by war criminals. Right. They're they're ran by capitalists and brutal war criminals, but you guys are pretending they're woke. And these are things like us blow on combo couch. What you're doing, you're misleading people what the real problem is. You you are engaging in the anti intellectual pursuit. And you guys know in RBN, we don't condone anti intellectualism. Anti intellectualism is the is the killer of revolutions. Do you guys know Black yes. Panthers? They used to require reading monthly readings. And if you was in leadership, you had you literally had to read. You had, you had to host readings. Every month, members had to read. So the Black Panthers and Marxists and revolutionary movements understood why we need to be intelligent, why we need to be awake and understand who's on our side and who's not. So this video from Obama has resurfaced. This is like from 2019 because this is this shows how the elites have one centered ideology. They just pretend. They just act. So you have elite Democrats who decry wokeism the same way the Republicans do. But people want to pretend it's only a Democrat thing. So this is a video. Uh, let me try. Sure make sure I got it right here. Here it is. This is a video of Barack Obama, and a lot of right wingers was using this as a got you to Obama mm. and the Democrat Party because you look at look at the quote here. My God, Barack Obama has gone full MAGA, <laughs> just like Elon Musk. So this is this is a very really good jab. It's a good jab. Uh, aiming at the phony liberals who pretend that only the Republicans are doing this. Only Republicans are engaging in bad faith culture war. So I'll preface this enough. Let's listen to Barack Obama and, us, and I, and we can laugh at this because this is hilarious. You know, this, this idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're always politically woke and all that stuff, I, you should get over that quickly. The world, the world is messy. There are ambiguities. People who do really good stuff have flaws. People who you are fighting may love their kids. And, you know, share certain things with you. And, and, and I think that one danger I see among young people, particularly on college camps, is Malia and I talk about this. Yara goes to school with my daughter. Um, but I do get a sense sometimes now among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way of me making change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or used the word wrong verb or then... I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because, man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> Let me get on TV, <laughs> watch my show, watch Gronish. <laughs> um, you know, that's not that's not activism. That that's not bringing about change. You know, it, 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 if if all you're doing is casting stones. Uh, you know, you're, you're probably not going to get that far. That's easy to do. So let's let's make this 100 clear. You guys know want to know what this is about? <laughs> to make, and I want to get your take on this, CJ. But this is Barack Obama essentially melting down because for the last six years, young people have been calling him a war criminal. That's what this is. I'm a good. I'm a, I'm a good dad. So what? I turned Libya into a slave state. Uh-huh. I'm still a good person. That's why essentially guys, what he's saying. Go ahead. Why do you guys gotta be focused on the negative, man? Why do you guys always shade, throw shades? So I watched it the first time without interrupting it, because now I won't go through it again. And I want to uh, explain what Barack Obama is really saying during this, because I had I, my tweet when I responded to this. Um, I had to go back. Damn, over two thousand likes now. I said this is essentially Obama melting down because young people keep calling him a war criminal. Now, with that in mind, let's watch it again so you guys see 
how that's on point here. This that's idea one. of purity and you're never compromised and you're always politically woke and all that stuff. I, you should get over that quickly. Why, why do you guys think he's complaining that he's not the people? Oh my God. They're like, of course I'm not pure. Of course. Oh my God. Why do you guys want us to be pure? Because and you're you never lied. compromised. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you lied. You lied about ending the wars. So I ain't like, oh man, come on. I know, I know you guys always want to be pure. You want people, you want politicians to actually do what they say. Listen to what he said in the beginning here. Yeah, this this idea of purity and you're never compromised and you're always you never compromised. That. That's, that's Obama. That's he's fighting these demons every day. He knows he's sold out and he, yes. he's tired of Gen Z and young millennials like myself calling him out. CJ, so I, I know I'm ready. You have any take before I continue? Yeah, no. Like when he says you're you're never comp to me, I zero in on that. What yeah. these people do is when they're talking, what they do, Nick, and it's it could be subconsciously, they go in and out of who they're talking to. Yeah. Meaning he'll go and say a few words where he's talking to, and he's applying it to the peasants, the workers. And then he'll say another few words where he's specifically only talking to the ruling class. Absolutely. And he does this throughout his convert. He does this throughout his conversation. You're never compromised. That has nothing to do with having a different opinion. Nick. Yes. Being compromised have zero to do with having a difference of opinion. So saying, Oh, you know, I'm not woke. That's, a, you know, that's a difference of opinion. Being compromised is being bought off by corporations. You see how he's intertwining things together. Go ahead. I, I see you feel like yeah. you're going to say something. No, no, no. You, no, you're good. You're making a great point. I don't want to, I didn't want to rant this whole damn, this whole damn, uh, but remember what we said when we did our breakdown over woke, who does it serve to demonize yeah. being woke? Remember when we asked that question, you guys see how, being woke and acknowledging who your real pressers are, that scares the shit out of Obama. <laughs> That's why we ask yourself, who does it serve? Be going against being woke, being compassionate and intelligent only serves the ruling class. And I, I and that one point that one won't play his old speech again. Once again, this is from 2019, but this is resurfaced because of current political dialogue. I want to Just show think you guys, about the opposite of what he says. What's wrong with the opposite if you're not compromised? Yes. What's wrong with the opposite if you're not willing to uh, uh, throw away your values? You see how he's trying, he want, he's basically saying you're rewarded if you throw away your hardline stances against capitalism, your hardline stances against letting the, the earth go, go to shit. You get what I'm saying? That, that is the whole thing. You need to soften your stance on, on getting rid of all of the bad shit is what he's essentially saying. And you need to not be so judgmental on those of us who have to do bad things because we work for a bad empire like me. And, I, and you know, if I was Obama speaking, go ahead. Yeah, well said. So I'm going to play it. Uh, let's continue with I want to play it one time yeah. in full, and then this time we're going to debunk That's it. So let's go ahead. Yeah. You should get over that quickly. The world, the world is messy. There are ambiguities. Yep. People who do can you really stop it right there? Yeah, go ahead. There's not ambiguities about <laughs> Palestine. <laughs> There's not ambiguities about climate change. There's not ambiguities that people need more money. There's not ambiguities that people need health care. There's you see how he's trying to add. There's no ambiguities here. He wants you to think. There's ambiguity in being an imperialist. There's nuance in being an imperialist. There's nuance in being a white supremacist nation. Nation. Come there on, is CJ. none. Come on, CJ. I mean, he, yeah, he bombed the hospital. Okay, okay. He bombed Doctor Without Board. Yeah, he bombed the wedding. There's amb ambiguities, though. The world is messy. What do you want me to do? Yeah, who haven't bombed a wedding or two? Come on. <laughs> this is how liberals... He listen. Liberal listen to this guy, and they, that's the conclusion they come with. Oh, come on, man! He's doing his job. He's bombing a few countries. To continue. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Have flaws. Have flaws like the the flaw of bombing weddings. 
<laughs> That's flaw, what I'm saying. Your flaw of upholding Guantanamo Bay. Oh, you know, this is a flaw. That's I know I lied about that. It's just a flaw. Why you gotta be, got be so hard? <laughs> People who you are fighting may love their kids. That's him. That's the Democrat Party doing their best to humanize war criminals. Mm hmm. That's what, when, when someone is a murderer, when someone is a rapist, do you look at that person like, man, at least he loves his kids? <laughs> no! No, you do not do that. And, and what anti-imperialists will we ask you, what, what anti-imperialists ask is people to acknowledge that one life equals one life. What we mean by that is whether someone kills you on the street with a gun in a homicide or someone in a suit bombs someone and kills 15 people. Doesn't mm -hmm. the person who bombed 15 people, isn't he worse? So I use that example, but that's actually a weak example because Obama, you have mass murder. As far this is my anti-imperialist ideology, and I say ideology because this is what I believe. If you if you bomb someone, you kill twelve thousand people. You're a murderer times twelve thousand. Barack Obama has the moral high ground over zero people, including every single person in prison. Take anyone in prison. They're worse than <laughs> yeah. they're worse than him. He's worse than them. Yeah, that anyone in criminal history of the United States. <laughs> take anyone. Yeah. Actually, take all of them and add them together. The Ted Bundys, the Jeffrey, the 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 Dahmers. Take them all and add them together. It literally it ain't ten percent of what this guy does. Has CJ. Done. CJ, imagine, do you guys think there's anyone in the United States prison that created a slave state? Imagine Barack Obama went to prison, and then they like, what are you in for? I'm in for murder. What are you in for? I did home robbery. What are you in for? I turned a state to a, 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 a slave state. <laughs> I turned a whole like, country to a slave state. You gangsters. They'd be like, fuck. what? <laughs> gangster. Then he'll be, he'll be the number one hot show in the prison. They're like, this nigga yeah. turned, he only killed one person. This nigga created a slave state. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. I tell you, this is more of a fun segment. And you know, share certain things with you. And 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 I think that one danger I see among young people, particularly on college campuses, danger. And I talk about this. Yara yeah, goes to school. You see how he bring up the college campuses? It's you guys see how neoliberals accept right wing talking points all the time? So what is Tucker Carlson Fox News talking about? Oh my God, the extremism on college campuses. And you can see how Barack Obama goes right along with that. But people, the dumb dumb left, they will call RBN. They say, oh my God, you guys are right leaning. No, the people who enable the right, and you explain this, you did streams on this. The people who enable the right the most are neoliberals. Look yes. at how fast neoliberals are to accept right wing talking points. Are we doing that? But people will call us a right winger. Isn't that interesting? The right wingers who want to continue to pretend to be left are the ones that that's the only people that call us right wingers are right right wingers who are pretending to be left. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. that's literally literally it. But continue. Um but I do get a sense sometimes now among certain young people, and this is accelerated by social media, there is this sense sometimes of the way Can you pause it? That is not <laughs> his daughter. That is the girl from Gronish. The, the daughter from... Oh, I thought so that was his see, daughter the whole time. No, I, it, when I first watched it, I did. But that's, if you look closely, that is the uh, middle child, the oldest daughter on Blackish. If you watch the show Blackish, or if you watch Gronish, it was a spinoff. That's who that is. But Nick, but you see how this is just to explain. You see the problem that the black working class has. They have a problem is that the black capitalist, aspiring capitalist class thinks that Obama is a saint. Now, imagine if you and I were there Absolutely. and we were like, what the fuck are you saying, Obama? You blah, blah, blah. She would be standing up defending him. Yep. That's such a good point. That's the problem we have here. We we have because there's too many black people who have not yet either accepted or recognized that Barack Obama is terrible. That's and the richer you get, the more you know, about, the less it seems you know how bad Barack Obama is when you're black. It seems like the richer you get, the less you know of all the bad shit he did. You want to be part of his club. The, the black capitalists will not... They want nothing more than be 
in the seat that Obama's sitting in right now. Um, but let's let's continue. Uh, you guys see why I, I wanted to play it in full first? Because like I literally could stop this every second to explain what you did. Well, wrong. Here's, here's her, her name. Wa- Somebody gave her name. This is her name. What's her right name? There. Yeah, y- y- Yari Shadi- Shahidi. Yeah. Her dad is like uh, either Armenian or something like that. I can't remember. He's Arabic. Yeah. All right, let's watch the last part and we can get near wrapping up. Change is to be as judgmental as possible about other people. And that's enough. Like if I tweet or hashtag about how you didn't do something right or use the word wrong verb or then... I can sit back and feel pretty good about myself because, man, you see how woke I was? I called you out. <laughs> That's what Democrats do with the two Republicans all the time, by the way. And, and, and also, how is this not a conservative point of view? It is. What he's making here. How, how, is, it, how is it not? Um, anyway, just but yeah, I could keep going with this guy, but keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, TV. <laughs> Watch my show. Watch Gronish. <laughs> um, you know, that's not that's not activism. That that's not bringing about change. Now I want to pause it here for a reason. This millionaire, war criminal, neoliberal fuck think he can gatekeep what it means to be an activist. So let's walk this through. Let's 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 follow your logic, Barack Obama. Apparently, calling out war criminals like you online is not activism. Anything online is not activism. But when black people and workers show up in the streets in mass, you guys decry that too. You know what that, CJ? Yeah. <laughs> tweeting, you can't you can't do activism by tweeting. It's like, okay, let's hit the street then. No, you can't do that. You guys are being disorderly. You the only activism the is way? participating in electoral politics is the only activism that they talk about. And then on the weekends, go do a march and raise some money for a charity. It's <laughs> unserious and trying to change the material needs of people. But this is the face of imperialism that the United States wants. Is his face, not Trump. Absolutely. Look, he got, you he see got how he's standing people. there after he, what he did? He's just... So uh, making jokes as if he's not a fucking killer. And everybody's walking to me as this mass murderer, Nick. That is such a good imagine if Donald Trump said that same thing. There would be MSNBC, CNN segments talking about Donald Trump. But Barack Obama does it, they get lives. Now, and that's such a good point, CJ. Now you guys see why they wanted him as the head of the empire. Mm-hmm. And now let's go back to the original argument because we almost done with this segment. Oh, this is funny. This is funny. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> it. Okay. Okay. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I, I love our community. Now. That's funny community. right there. <laughs> so remember, let's Let go back to, to, to read your segment. You gotta ask yourself, who does this serve? Who does this rhetoric serve? And we'll, at our being, we've been asking who does this anti-woke rhetoric serve? You we just completely picked apart everything Barack Obama said there. We expose him as a fraud. We picked out the holes in his logic. You want you want to know who who saw that that speech from Barack Obama and thought it was brilliant? Who oh, thought no. it was great stuff? <laughs> and now you guys see where the anti wokeness who it serves. Elon Musk replying to that video says wise words from President Obama. And if you look at this thread, you have a bunch of right wingers. You have bunches of anti woke people saying, "Oh my God!" Well, make my algorithm fucked up. <laughs> but there was a lot of people who's like, "Yeah, so why don't why can't the Democrat Party go back to this?" Oh my God, Barack Obama way more rational than the Democrat Party now. Why are they saying that? Because Barack Obama is complaining about young people raising awareness about his crimes and corruption. So when they do that, Bro- Elon Musk loved that shit. So ask yourself, who does these rhetoric serve? Anti wokeism. This serves billionaires and imperialists, not the other way around. Are, are we clear? This is why Elon Musk and the millionaires, look, this guy 91,000 likes. The right love this shit. Ask yourself, who does this shit serve? That's because he's a conservative. He's a moderate Republican. He said he's self-identified himself. He's like, he's like, my views are so mainstream. I would be a uh, moderate Republican. 
in the 80s or whatever he said the time would be. Yeah. Who does that? Like, what communists say, uh, my views are so mainstream, I would be a moderate capitalist. 